Hi, this is Emmanuel. Today we're going to talk about how to code in SPSS. Okay, so for today we have a questionnaire we are going to be making use of training evaluation form. Here participants are required to <coughs> answer these various questions okay in um, whether strongly agreed, agreed, neutral, disagreed and strongly disagreed. So in doing this we quickly go to SPSS. Alright so from here I have already typed in the question on the level. So this is the first one, question one and under the type we make use of numeric the numeric is just telling us that we are going to use numbers to represent the various response for this question so on that level you type in the question in the questionnaire so the width is just telling SPSS that the range of values for our response is going to be from 1 to 8 and it won't exceed that okay so from our question here you discover that the response are within uh, ranges of 1 to 5 okay so when in line so for decimal we're just telling R that okay uh, the numbers we're going to be inputting are going to be in two decimal places okay and not more than two decimal places so the label like I said earlier we type in our questions on the label then values and this is where we, we code okay so when you look at the questionnaire you discover that participants are required to participants are required to um, respond to these uh, questions either strongly agree agree neutral disagree strongly disagree so under S, under species we're going to code these various responses using numerical values okay so you click on the values these three dotted uh, three dots um, you click on it under the add uh, under the value you put in one let's remove this so that it's under the so you put in one okay so one would represent strongly disagree or strongly agree okay so you just add so it's automatically uh, go into the next column the next box then when you are done with all of them assigning various numerical values to the various label you just click ok then you go here you control copy and you paste it in the other columns cells right? then missing under missing we have no missing value so none so the column the column is just talking about the width of how we want our columns to look like okay so if we increase this if we increase this and we go to that of you you discover that the column is wider okay so i'll take it back to eight because that is what that is how i want it to look like alignment is just whether it's the in our data view whether it's going to go to the right or to the left or to the center whichever one then the scale the scale is just talking about um, um the, the data itself the data we're obtaining the data we're obtaining are in category strongly agreed agreed this is a scale is in scale interval okay so if it's for ordinal data we will just click ordinal if it's nominal data we just click nominal okay example of ordinal data are that norm the ordinal data are data used for non-parametric okay and is in an order for example the position in a class first second and third those are ordinal data or the positions for those who run a race and won. So nominal data simply also is for non-parametric um, data. It's a non-parametric data, but then it, um, it it does not recognize order. It does is not it doesn't go by other. So example is our gender. So gender can be uh, male and female or female and male, whichever case. So these are ordinal data and nominal data rather. Then the role is just talking about the data we are providing what role is it playing is the input input are independent variables target dependent variables and both meaning both independent and dependent variable none means not playing any any role partitioning is just dividing our, uh, our data into various groups for partitioning testing okay but um for the purpose of this uh, lesson we are going to just make use of input so uh, after doing that these are names we just um the various questions this is question one okay this is the level this is the question 
question two this is a question question three and that is how it's going to apply this name is going to the column are going to take the um, question one question two question three question four respectively now we go to our data view after we are done with our variable view we go to our data view then we we can just input random figures as the response of our respondents okay so we just let's copy this so this these are just random uh, data for the purpose of this class so in the real life survey you would have your data already at hand the information you need so this would uh, be much more easier to do all right so we're done and that is how you code in spss if you have any question drop your question in the comment section and uh, do not forget to like and subscribe as well as share this video to all those who would need it all right so thank you very much